everybody, welcome back to Ordinary Adventures. Today is day three of our Disney Wonder trip and we're getting off the ship and we're going to Ensenada, Mexico, which turns out it is the birthplace of the margarita and two different places claim to have created it. We're gonna try both of those margaritas, tell you what we think. We're also gonna explore the downtown area of Ensenada and go to a world famous street cart so I could try a world famous tostada, I'm so excited. Back on the ship, it's gonna be Pirates Night, so we're gonna be celebrating with Mickey and the gang. Why don't you come with us on this adventure? for you. Night two was a lot better. I got a full night's sleep. It was not crazy at all. And now I can finally enjoy my Mickey waffles. <laughs> I missed these yesterday. I didn't get to have them. So I'm excited to finally eat them. Good morning. How are you? Have you seen their sea lions outside? <gasps> really? Animal critter friends? That sounds wonderful. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Well, nice seeing you guys. Oh, it was wonderful to see you. Have fun on your legs today. We actually found out in, if you're taking a photo down here, you actually can take your mask off. You just can't take selfies with your mask off. So if you have, like I had Peter take my photo with my mask off, but we both couldn't go there and like do yeah. this with our masks off. So you don't so, have to do the photo pass. Yeah, so you don't have to do the photo pass. I mean, if you want to, photo pass is great. We just, you know, Peter's also good at taking photos. So hopefully they turned out amazing. <laughs> Finally about to get off the ship and go into Mexico, but we noticed that they have a stack of towels, complimentary towels, if you want to bring your towel with you. On your adventure out there, you can. Unlike Royal Caribbean, you'd have to, you, you could, but you'd have to pay if you lost it. So Yeah, you'd have to put down yeah. a deposit, but they got their own towels. Yeah, good to know. My name is Andy from Disney Wonder. Just like and subscribe on your YouTube channel. <laughs> Ordinary, Ordinary Adventures, yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I. You could hear the seals. I, I, I. <laughs> Look at the ship, isn't she beautiful? Oh, oh, welcome, oh, oh, follow the safety protocols. Oh, oh. That was my seal impression. Two cups of coffee, that's what it'll get you. When you get off the ship in Ensenada, there will be a bunch of shuttles there trying to convince you to pay money to drive you into town. I think they told us it was like four miles. Chris looked on a map and says it's not four miles, so we're just gonna walk it go up and then like this is all the shopping and we'll find some stuff there and the margarita places are there okay. and there I mean yeah perfect Thank goodness for Chris simple he took screenshots and saved them on his phone because none of us have cell service he's <laughs> smart he's the smart one we need to bring him on every trip from now on so Ensenada Mexico is the one port stop on this four night cruise and Ensenada I guess is the fourth largest municipality in all of Mexico I don't know what that means. It means it's big. But what is important to me is it's apparently the birthplace of one of my favorite drinks, the margarita. So when you're traveling internationally, it's best to check out some of the local establishments. Here they got a 7-Eleven, they got a Subway, they got a Carl's Jr. Don't go to those. Peter, they have a bucket hat with avocados on it. I think you need it. <laughs> I'm not even joking. They also have one with uh, Michael Jordan. I like the avocado one though. I'll buy it for you. You want it? Tell me your bootleg without t saying that you're bootleg. <laughs> they got all the luchador masks. And they got baby root. Oh, wow. They got Ant Man. Thanos. <laughs> got Thanos back there. That's actually really cool. I like that a lot. <laughs> but check. <laughs> Kitra likes getting t shirts wherever we go. Oh, no, I do. It's a new like thing that I a new thing that I wanted to start. I like this one. That's actually pretty cute. Or this one? <laughs> <laughs> They're basically just stealing every logo that you could possibly have and putting Ensenada. 
the last couple trips, we haven't taken any port excursions from the cruise ships. It's not that we're against that. We just felt like it would be fun to go on our own and check out the local food scene and stuff like that. But it's interesting because Disney does have unvaccinated children on board, those groups cannot get off the ship unless they're part of a port excursion because the port excursion is part of the Disney bubble. Like you're not coming in contact with anybody outside of Disney. Oh no. <laughs> Everybody wants us to come into their store. I know. Hello, hi. Why does everyone think that I want leather and silver? Because I don't. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, everybody's like outside, like trying to haggle us in. Haggle? Yeah. Call us in. Yeah. You just gotta put on your poker face. Although I did really want that little baby Groot statue, but then I found out that like every shop was selling the same one, so it wasn't that special. It's the same bootleg <laughs> everywhere. Yeah. They got Mexican jumping beans. I used to get these. What actually is it? I forget. Like there's like little. What is it? Like magnets? It's a little caterpillar inside a change of butterfly. Ew! No, it's not. Is it really? It is. Yeah. A change of butterfly. They they jump like 15 days or 20 days. After that, you can see the butterflies coming out. <laughs> and then you open the, are you being serious? Yeah, serious. They make a little hole, then you see the butterflies coming out. <laughs> because I used to get them when I was a kid, and I don't think they allow them in America anymore, but I, I got them once as a kid. Husong's is the most famous and oldest cantina in Ensenada. It opened in 1892, and it was first an inn for stagecoaches, and it keeps its frontier, like, theme from those days. It is supposedly one of two places in Ensenada that might be the birthplace of the Margarita. So the legend goes that Margarita Henkel, the daughter of a German ambassador, came into Husong's Cantina just as a barman was trying out a new mix of tequila, lime juice, and Damanina liqueur. So that was supposedly maybe one of the first margaritas. And that's why the Margarita is called the Margarita. So, you know, I'm a connoisseur of margaritas, so we gotta go. We gotta go. Yeah, we do. Let's go. And then we're gonna go get a tattoo and some craft beer at Spooky's Tap Room. <laughs> <laughs> this is awesome. Look at there's even a safe. I can put all my my <laughs> all the stuff that I buy in there. <laughs> From Ensenada, like all my little Groot statues, all my T-shirts, all my like masks, everything. All my leather and silver. I can put it in there, no one. Can, can get it. I don't know what he used to make the margarita. I will say that it is a little small in the small glass. So I think they make margaritas a little differently here in Ensenada. And it's also blended, which is not something I usually think is like the traditional margarita. But this is apparently the original. Let's try it out. Oh, that's good. It's strong. So don't don't doubt the size because I, I think there's probably a bigger pour in there than there is like a normal margarita from you know whatever bar you go to. But yeah, it's definitely just like the classic lime margarita. It's good. You can tell why this like took off and became like a thing around the world. Five out of five Peters. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> no one ever believes me when I have that reaction. Wow, it's sour. This is like very refreshing, very smooth. It's just like very bitter and like salty <laughs> at the same time. Five out of five, Ordinary Adventure Star. And the, the total for the three of these was $11, 11 US dollars. So pretty cheap too. Ready to order the second one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you haven't finished your first one. I haven't finished my first, but it's, this is delicious. Yeah, this is great. This is everything I envisioned it to be and more. How crazy is it that we're in the birthplace of the margarita? That's so cool. Like, I love that we're here and we get to try like the original margarita. It's awesome. Cheers. <laughs> I just like love how little these cups are. I'm like... It's also interesting how he put the salt on the rim. Mm -hmm. Like he actually used a salt, like just a... Uh, a salt shaker. Yeah. He took a, a lime wedge and he like put it around and then he just took like a normal like table salt and just like 
salted it up. It's very salty. They give you peanuts as a bar snack here, and notoriously, I guess people throw the shells on the floor, and pigeons come in here and actually eat like the peanut remains. Did I say that right? Peanut remains? <laughs> shells? Yes. <laughs> We walked into this super unique store. It has totally different stuff than we've seen so far. Like there's all this drinkware and it's all one of a kind. And it's, it's awesome. But I noticed <laughs> over here, they have some, you know, skeletons and we found Captain America as a skeleton. How cool is that? Is that the only Avenger they got? Ah, uh, it looks like it. <laughs> it looks like it. Oh, look, they got Gizmo right over here. Oh, it is Gizmo. Mm. Mickey and Sorcerer Mickey. Awesome. They even have a Tasmanian Devil and Porky Pig. <laughs> they're playing cards. There's, what are they? I don't know, but they're playing cards, and there's like cards in the background. They're like playing poker or something. Do you, do you need it? I think. I think I'm good. We're at La Gururense. And this is actually a place that we knew we had to stop in Ensenada. It's famous. So many famous chefs have come here and said that it's like amazing, including Anthony Bourdain. He actually came here on an episode of No Reservations. And what's really good here is the tostadas and the ceviche. Apparently the sea urchin is really good, but I went a little bit more simple I asked the guy I was like you know I like shrimp I like crab what can you do for me so they made me a custom tostada and it has crab salad on the bottom and then it has shrimp avocado has some like spicy sauce some peanuts of course the like tostada like tortilla on the bottom it looks amazing it actually smells really good too it smells kind of spicy he was like how spicy do you want it and i was like give me like a seven out of ten so i have a feeling it might be spicy but like look at this this is beautiful i think there's a reason why this place is famous yeah and they have so many like different selections so it's all seafood though but they actually do have a sit-down restaurant where i think you could order like chicken and beef and stuff like that too the owner of this is known as the queen of ceviche yeah she's known as the queen of ceviche so it makes me feel like i should have got ceviche right but the tostadas are supposed to be really good too anyways enough talking let's try this is so good you can tell that it's fresh so flavorful oh my god it was a good call on that hot sauce it gives it so much flavor and then the avocado on there oh my god you guys you know what anthony bourdain was not wrong all these chefs that have come here are not wrong she is the queen this is freaking amazing this is so good five out of five kitras perfect combination get the margarita now walk over here get yourself a tostada or some ceviche this is how you do it so four years ago, they actually opened up a sit-down restaurant. It's called Sabina. And so she's hit the big time now. She actually has like a sit-down restaurant and here they actually do serve beef. So even though that's not what she's known for, so I ordered the ribeye tacos. So it looks like it has ribeye, it has some beans, has some cheese, has that like pickled cabbage, onion, whatever thing on top, some cilantro, has some avocado. That's juicy. It's very juicy, very flavorful. I'm actually kind of interested to try some of the salsas because she's also known for like salsas. She has like a whole selection of salsas by the street cart. Right here, if you eat at the restaurant, you get a selection of the salsas with some chips. I've been told that this one is the spiciest and it's like kind of avocado based. So we're gonna take some of that, a little spoon. Oh my God, that's a lot. Is that a lot? Oh my God. <laughs> that's a lot? Really? They said it's the spiciest too, so let's uh... <laughs> Did I just make a mistake? Yes. Oh no. Okay, here we go. Oh yeah, it does have some heat. <laughs> oh, it's building. <laughs> it's like there's a fire in my mouth. Man. It's just like, it's <laughs> butter. Oh yeah. Thank goodness we got some Mexican Coke here. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
that's good. That's like no kidding salsa. That's like you went to Mexico and you got some real salsa. You didn't like the buy the salsa on like the rack at Ralph's. You know what I mean? I'll give us a five out of five. I'm not sure I'd recommend coming here and getting the meat because she's, that's not what she's known for. You know, come here and get the seafood. Don't be like me. Don't be the idiot that comes here and gets the meat. But for a ribeye taco, and by the way, ribeye taco, I've never had a ribeye taco. I'm just saying it's awesome. I think we can agree. We give this place. Yep. It's like 20 minutes later and it's still spicy in my mouth. That yeah, was so good. You put so much on. I put like a drop on my chip and I was like, oh, it's spicy. And then he puts like tons on his <laughs> taco. that this was actually the place that the margarita was invented. Yeah, it wasn't that other place. This place also claims it, so I think you should probably get one here to decide which one's better. Yes, how about we do that? Heard it's buy one, get one free right now. You should totally get one. So the bar Andalus opened as part of a hotel and casino here in 1930, and it remains today. The hotel casino is no longer, it's now a cultural center. But in this bar, they claim, they're the other people who claim to have invented the margarita. The person who owned the hotel was Margarita King, and they supposedly named the drink after them. And this looks a little bit different than the margarita we got across town. So the question is, which one's better? Another popular thing at this bar is the bees. There are bees everywhere. They are swarming inside <laughs> of the bar. They're by the doors. We've had to switch tables like twice now and they keep finding us. So I need to drink this quickly. Otherwise the bees, I mean, who knew the bees liked margaritas? <laughs> yeah, this is quite different than the one we got before. It's much bigger. Yeah, this looks like what you think of like when you go to Mexico and you order a margarita, you think like it's gonna look like this, so. Yeah, it's much bigger. The salt looks different. And it doesn't look blended. It looks like there's... Yeah, there's... and it's on the rocks. But the color is the same. Okay. This tastes like a normal margarita. This tastes like there's sugar in there. There's lots of lime juice in there. This just tastes like a normal margarita to me. It's good. It's smooth. Like when you think of margarita, this is what you think of. The other one was more like tart and stronger and just like tasted more fresh and authentic. This just tastes like I went to like Senor Frogs. I got a margarita. <laughs> it's good though. Don't get me wrong, it's good. I guess the question is like, who do we believe? Do we believe Margarita King or do we believe the other place? Well, we can't find the answer to that question, we can't. but we can come to the answer of which one is better. Why are you making me decide? You're the margarita connoisseur. Okay, I'll decide. That. Okay, here, try it. Yeah, you can taste like the margarita mix. Did he T use margarita mix? I don't, yeah, it was some kind of mix, but mm -hmm. it, it could have been their homemade mix. You don't know, it's like yeah. in one of those jars. It's fine, but if you come to Ensenada, I'd go across town to Hoosongs. Maybe I could stop over here to see. It's beautiful over here. It's beautiful, old. Like, the, you can get some good Instagram photos, but maybe skip the margarita here and get it over there. $79 for a Red Bull. That's an expensive Red Bull. I get it. It's Mexican pesos. It's kind of confusing. Like, we just had a couple tacos and it was like $400 for tacos. Ended up being like 17 bucks. We're heading back to the ship and I hope we see some seals. I could hear them, so hopefully we can find them. Oh, they want to come in and they're fenced out. Oh, they want to come up here. They want we to come. Walk back. We'll have to walk back to get They want to come up here, but there's a fence and they can't. I wish I had a fish to feed them. <laughs> oh my God, they're right there. Oh my God, I'm so excited. 
<laughs> you hear them? I love them all. Look at how many there are, wow. Oh my God, there's one over there, do you see it? Yeah. It's right by like where they, oh my God. They're so cute, why do they love it here? <laughs> like out of anywhere, they're like, let's go right in the cruise terminal. They love Mickey Mouse. <laughs> they do, they do. Oh, there's so many of them out there. <laughs> All right, we could go in now. I saw my sea lions. We could go back on board, I guess. So we're back on the ship. First thing we got to do is get ourselves some ice cream because that makes you happy. I want french fries and ice cream. <laughs> want a cruise, you don't have to choose. You can get both. Mango. It's not banana, it's mango. I'm gonna try it though. This is good. It's not as good as a banana, but it's actually really, really good. It doesn't really taste that much like mango. It's more just like a creamy, like a creamy mango. Oh no, I like it. Could this be a new favorite? I don't know. We're just taking a look at Daisy's Delights. So if you're wondering, do they have healthy food on this cruise? They do. They have a bunch of sandwiches, wraps. They have a build your own salad. They got fruits. They also have some cookies. So they got it all. But uh, I think Kitra is going to get her close to French fries. <laughs> he spotted you and he was like, <laughs> <laughs> We decided to go on deck nine to the smoking area because it's right above the sea lions. And we can look down below and get a better look at them than we could have from actual land. And they are so cute. <laughs> it's funny to see them like sunbathing on this like little piece of concrete that I don't even know why it's there. You know what, if I was any animal, I'd probably be a sea lion. <laughs> why? So I could just be like laying out, flopping around. <laughs> wiggling around and like barking all the time. It's also interesting when you're over here in the smoking area, you can actually see the wing where they actually have all the controls that they can navigate the ship in and out of port. So they only use this when they're actually docking or, you know, coming out of port. On the Disney cruise, they do this thing called a pirate night and they give you these Pirates of the Caribbean Mickey bandanas. Par pirate in the Caribbean. In the Caribbean, sorry. Pirates in the Caribbean. Even though we're not even in the Caribbean, we still get these bandanas. And they're for people like me who doesn't bring a costume. And actually we got these when we went on our Disney cruise a few years ago before we started our YouTube channel. And I gave them to our dogs. So these will also be going to our dogs. So they're Let's dog see. pirates in the Caribbean. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so cute. That's funny, it's the exact same one. Like it's not different yeah. whatsoever. But I'm gonna wear it like this, or like this, or like, I don't know, you'll have or maybe like this. Yeah, that's that's the 2020 style. I know. Hmm? <laughs> you know, down there. Ooh, Tinkerbell. We just sat down and we're about to see the Disney original Disney Dreams. We can't film it or take photos or anything, so we'll let you know how it is after we see it. Yeah, all these shows have such original names. They could be yeah. the name of Disney a magic Dream. game. Isn't that the name of another Disney ship? Yes. I'm confused. <gasps> Tinkerbell! Oh, I've come to help this little girl's dream come true. Remember this, Anne Marie. Find your own magic before the clock strikes six. Look for castles and kings and candlesticks. Mm. 
moments later. So cynically, that show uses this framing device of Peter Pan showing this teenager how to realize her dream by reliving moments from Disney fairy tales. It's just as an excuse to have a stage musical with some of the best Disney songs from the Katzenberg Eisner era. And it shouldn't work, but those songs are so good and they're realized in such a great way. What I loved is that it played like the hits, but then it played some of the secondary songs that like you don't think of as much. And they did like Cinderella, which I feel like you never see or hear those songs. So I loved it. I thought it was amazing. It was corny. It was magical. It was just, I loved it. I was like clapping the whole time. Tonight it's pirate night. So all the characters dress as pirates. So right now we're in line to meet Mickey and Minnie as pirates. Hi, happy pirates night. We just saw you in the dream show. You guys changed your outfits so quickly to come up here. Yes, it was the magic, right? Yes, <laughs> the pirate magic. Tonight we're going back to Tiana's place, but this time it's pirate night. <laughs> so they have like a pirate inspired menu and all the waiters are dressed as pirates. I'm excited. There we go. <laughs> that kind of scared me. I was like, was not ready for it. So we just sat down here. I don't know what happened to our waiters that have been following us this entire trip because they've been replaced with pirates. And the pirates <laughs> brought over, they brought over what looks to be cornbread. They're calling it Johnny Cake. I don't think it's Johnny Cake. I think it's just cornbread and it has a mango dip. As you know, I am a connoisseur of cornbread. So I gotta try this. Yep. I mean, it looks square just like you'd want a cornbread to look. Ah, that might be too much. <laughs> the cornbread is actually pretty good. I don't think that mango sauce goes well with what they call Johnny Cakes. I also eat my corn, cornbread plain. Or maybe ask for some butter because that, that's what, not this. I guess I gotta rate it as a combination, right? Yes. Two out of five. Peters. Whoa! Yeah. Okay. But cornbread, pretty good. One of the special cocktails tonight for Pirates Night is called Pirates Nest, and this has rum, mango, ginger, green tea, and ginger beer. I am an aficionado of ginger beer. I love it. This looks good. And it's big. Look at this thing. <laughs> it doesn't look very piratey but it's okay, I'm gonna let that slide. It's like ginger beer with mango green tea <laughs> and rum. This is refreshing. Wow, who knew that Pirates liked like the finer things in life? I would, I thought, I mean, I know they like rum, but I didn't realize that they also liked, you know, this has got some flavor to it. This probably gets like a four and a half out of five. This is really, really good. Arr. <laughs> We told you before about the drink of the day. Every day on Disney Cruise, they have a drink of the day, which is usually cheap. It's like five or six bucks. And today for Pirate Night, the drink of the day is the Shrunken Treasure. The Shrunken Treasure has Nalbu coconut rum, Midori melon liquor, blue curacao, pineapple juice, orange juice, and Sprite. So basically it sounds like it was made for me <laughs> because as you know, I love Midori, I love Sprite, I love, I love all these things. And look at how, I mean, it is my colors, right? My favorite color is green. It is an ombre of like light green to dark green. Ooh, yeah. I basically just taste the Maduri and the Sprite, which is good enough for me. I think it's like a four out of five Peters. I would get it again. It, it's um, very lime and melony. <laughs> is that a word? Yeah, okay. You have to keep this in mind. He's a oh, really? connoisseur of vegetable samosas. So I mean, I would. I mean, I think the vegetable samosa definitely a five out of five. I think the crab cake probably a three and a half out Ooh. of five. Wow. Okay, but I'm so not a connoisseur of crab cakes. So. so so Chris is predicting that. That's what I'm. That's my prediction. That's your prediction. So let's see okay. if well, I'm right. Speaking of crab cake, I ordered the crab cake. <laughs> This is actually called the deep fried Calypso crab cake and it comes with a Cajun remoulade, green onion, and a lemon wedge. Let's put the lemon wedge on there, or the lemon juice. Did you do that? No. Did you do that, Chris? No. Did no, you I do need that? To. I did not. Chris, if you didn't do that, then. <laughs> I didn't do it right. <laughs> 
always got to do the lemon oh my juice, Chris. I'm take another bite. What are you thinking? You're no. clearly not an aficionado. No. <laughs> okay, a nice little cross section there. Little Looks like a crab sauce. cake, if I ever did see one. <laughs> it's good, it's not great. I'm actually surprised. I mean, I think I would even give it like maybe like a two and a half out of five. Wow. Because I've had better crab cakes. Like, I've had better crab cakes. It's good though. It's definitely not bad by any means. It's just like I was expecting it to be amazing. So our server was like, you gotta get the crab cake. For my appetizer, I got shreeds, vegetable samosa. This has potato, peas, garlic, cumin, ginger, served with tamarind and mint chutney. And I am a connoisseur of samosas. <laughs> Every time we order Indian food, I always get a samosa. Usually a, a, a vegetable samosa. This is true. This is true. I never lie. Yeah. Oh. Oh. oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know Kitra would love this because this tastes exactly like the, oh, the samosas from the Indian restaurant that oh. we love. You're going to have to give me a bite. Yeah. No, it's already gone. <laughs> Hold on. It's our... Uh, wait, you wanted a what? What did you want? I wanted uh, a bite. Oh, God. Oh, God. <laughs> Thanks, honey. Love you. See if she agrees. One magically appeared. <laughs> <laughs> you can order whatever you want, as much as you want. Confirming the star. Mm -hmm. For my main entree, I got Tia Dalma's jerk chicken. This is 48 hour jerk marinated chicken grilled and served with rice and peas, fried plantains, and a pineapple chili salsa. Oh, look at that. Looks, Looks good. good. When you ask for jerk chicken, you want it like that kind of blackened kind of color on the skin. That sauce that it comes with, so good. They said it came with plantains, but it's like one like, It's like one plantain chip. One plantain chip. Juice. I'll give this a five out of five Peter. Wow. Everything we've had tonight has been really good. Just so you know, on Pirate Night, all three restaurants are serving the same menu. So it doesn't matter which restaurant you're at, you're getting like the same food. It's just a uh, different theming. I forgot to say that this pineapple salsa adds some very great flavor to the mix. It's like, uh, makes it a little bit sweeter. Put your hands together! show host the other night and he also was like the guy that did the animation class interesting so Aww. you're telling me he was a pirate this whole time we're on to you for dessert i decided to get the bananas in paradise this is layered banana bread with hazelnut fudge filling served with banana spice puree i gotta be honest with you i'm not a chocolate person but the banana bread and the banana puree that all sounded up my alley so i'm kind of curious if the hazelnut is gonna I know everybody's probably screaming at their TV like, how can he not like chocolate? I'm just not a big chocolate person. The banana bread is really good. 
That hazelnut is very overpowering, but I feel like a lot of people out there like hazelnut. I know, everybody's like, why did you order it if you didn't like hazelnut? I was hoping it was gonna be more banana-y, but that hazelnut kind of takes over. It's not bad, I'll give it like a three out of five Peters. But if you like hazelnut, this might be for you. Okay, I have a empty napkin, right? Empty, empty nothing. So I'll just put here. And I have a toothpick. No. And this toothpick is not broken, right? No. So I'm just gonna drop it there. I don't have anything in my hand. Nope. Okay, and close it. Okay. And I'll pick a toothpick again. Feel it? The toothpick is there? Oh, yeah, that's there. Can you feel it for me? Uh, yeah, it's right there. Okay, I need you to snap it. Break it for me. Break it? So, can you check if it's broken or not? Feels broken. Yeah, it's broken in half. Okay. I don't have anything in my hands. No. I'm just gonna swipe it. And tap it. Uh, watch it carefully. I don't have anything. Look, look, watch. Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> it's not broken. <laughs> not broken. Thank you. That was great. That was amazing. Understand how he did it. I mean, it's a toothpick. Like, I just broke it now. We broke it. Yeah, I and broke I, it. I literally broke I it. I heard it break too. Yeah. When you broke it, like, I went, Yeah, I don't. It's so, the if there was. the power of the QR code. <laughs> I don't think that's May why. the QR code compel you. For my dessert, I got the rum soaked chocolate cake with raspberry glaze and whipped cream. And it looks like a little fishy. I don't know, does that look like a fish to you or am I just like, okay. You know, pirates, they like their fish. So I, our server told us that this like is very rum heavy. So I'll let you know if, you know, if you don't like alcohol and you don't like the taste of rum, if you should get this or not. Oh my God, I can smell it. <laughs> it smells like rum. It smells like a bottle of rum. Do you smell that? Yeah, I can smell it from here. Can you really? Can yeah. you smell it? Ooh. Oh god, I don't think I'm gonna like this. Captain Jack. Ooh. Bottoms up. <laughs> me, me hardies, yo ho. He said it was good. <laughs> really? That was like the thing he recommended. Pass it on to I don't like it. <laughs> like it? I don't like it. It's. I'm feeling a little seasick. Oh, so. Well. Yeah, I don't know if it's the right one. The taste is very nice. Everybody it's very it. rum. Everybody loves it but me, apparently. Yeah. You're not gonna like it. This is not right. He likes rum. We know that. Yeah, you can't taste the chocolate at all. It's like all rum. That's actually, I don't like chocolate and that's pretty darn delicious. <laughs> I will have my third dessert of the night. <laughs> He's not kidding, look at that. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Can you try it? You try it. Okay, I'll try it. It's actually, it doesn't, you don't even taste the chocolate. It's weirdly weird. Rum. Yeah, it is so. <laughs> yeah. Chris. Don't you dare say it's delicious, you liar. What the? No. That's pretty good. No, it's not. That's very good. I would give it a five out of five beers. Eat I mean, the part without the raspberry. I didn't get, I, I didn't get any raspberry Eat the there. outside part. Yeah. What, 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 what is, what, why are you so strong? It's good though. I don't know why you don't like this. I don't know. You like rum? No. Okay, one out of five Petras. Actually, you know what? If, if there was a trash can right now, I would take this and it would get the walk of shame into the trash can. This, this Our waiters basically said that this is like the, the most loved thing here. So who are you gonna believe? The guy that actually agrees with everybody or the outlier who 
Oh yeah, we got something for you, Kipcha. Okay. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> that is gross. That, that was actually really. Gross. That was actually really gross, and I'm gonna <laughs> throw up. Listen, we got a little rocking again tonight. Okay, we're on the high. We're on the seas. It's pirate night. I get it. Like theming. Like they want to be like, oh, you're on a pirate ship. Let's make it go like this. So I'm. I feel a little seasick again today. Uh, so maybe that's why I don't like it. But you know what'll make me feel better? Mickey Premium Bar. If you just want a Mickey Premium Bar, they will get it for you, but it's not on the menu. So that actually is a really good pro tip. Good point, Peter. And this is the first cruise that I've ever ordered one, so I'm excited. So much better than that. Whoa. Get away. Hmm? Look at your outfits! Yes! <laughs> From head to toe, so know? good! Oh, yours is the best, for sure. <laughs> Mummy costume last night. That was amazing. Yeah, and you like, you had some moves. You're like, yeah. I was, yes, yes. I was like shook. I was like goofy over there with the moves. Hello. All right, should we take a photo? Who, who's the better pirate, Stitch or Goofy? Uh oh, oh. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> because he knows how to surf, so like... Oh, I'm sorry, Goofy. No, Goofy, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. You're the better dancer. That's all that matters. There we go. So right now we're on deck four. Pro tip to you guys, if you are on a Disney ship that is doing fireworks, you can watch from deck four. They'll actually play the music. Uh, you can, especially in, in these times when they're not doing like a show up on the pool deck might be a, a better place to get more socially distanced. I'll say this, it's amazing how much the moon actually lights up the like open ocean. You'd think like you would not be able to see anything out there, but you can actually see a lot. <laughs> not gonna use this footage in the vlog. When can we see this again? Dot, 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 dot. Get on your dot. Get on your dot. Don't get, don't ever get off your dot. <laughs> it's called the dot dance. <laughs> so normally at the end of Pirate Night, it results in a deck party that ends in a climactic fireworks show. That deck party is not happening tonight because of the pandemic. Instead, we're getting the Disney Ever After fireworks show. And it's really weird, on the deck they have these dots that you have to stand on that are like 15 feet apart from one another. I like that Disney is playing it safe. I really do respect that. But at the same time, it's weird that like you go to Disney World or Disneyland and there's fireworks shows and there's not dots on the ground and like you can stand wherever and I don't know. I, I, it's just a little, it feels a little weird. I'm excited to see the fireworks though. For your safety and the safety of others, we ask that you remain in the same location during and after the show. A crew member will assist with your exit. Thank you. Disney Ever After. company does fireworks at sea it's only Disney it's not as good as the stuff in the parks but it is cool there's something really cool about seeing fireworks on a cruise ship
yes? I, I have no idea what that is. The pirate? <laughs> the most important thing, instead of the dove chocolate, they give you these chocolate like pirate coins. Tomorrow's another sea day, so we're gonna be back with more videos. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe below. If you wanna see the rest of our Disney Wonder trip, we'll put the videos right over there. We wanna say thank you to some of our Patreons, that includes Melissa and Jordan Grubbs, Tiffany Lopez, Don Babka, and Alora and Scott. Thank you guys so much. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll, we'll see, see you on, on the next, next adventure. adventure.